Lower and middle income workers affected by the COVID-19 pandemic will get more help under a new grant. The COVID-19 recovery grant is for those who continue to suffer significant job or income losses despite the government's earlier measures to help them. People can apply for the grant from January 18th through to the end of 2021. Now, two groups of people can get up to $400, $700, I beg your pardon, a month for three months. Those who are unemployed due to retrenchment or involuntary contract termination or those who have been placed on involuntary no-pay leave for at least three straight months. Meanwhile, other groups can get up to $500 a month also for three months. They are employees who are facing salary losses of at least 50% on average for at least three consecutive months or self-employed people facing an average loss in net trade income of at least 50% for at least three straight months before January 23rd this year when the first COVID-19 case was found in Singapore. Now, to qualify for the grant, applicants need to show proof that they have been searching for jobs or seeking to upgrade their skills. Those self-employed may also submit supporting evidence of two attempts to reach out to clients or businesses in the two months before applying. Well, political correspondent Lynette Lai is here to share more. So, Lynette, why is this grant separate from the COVID-19 support grant and the other one, the Self-Employed Person Income Relief Scheme? So, these two schemes that you mentioned are ending soon. The applications for the COVID-19 support grant end uh, December this year, while the Self-Employed Person Income Relief Scheme, uh, the payouts cover until end December. So, basically, what we have is these two schemes are coming to the to an end and the new grant is replacing it in a way but i say in a way only because the eligibility criteria is different it's a bit stricter and it's a more a bit more targeted at the lower and middle income group i see so is that also the reason why these two grants the COVID 19 support grant and sirs are not being extended yes i believe so so when these grants were first launched, you know, uh, when the pandemic first started, many people needed the extra help, people losing their jobs or uh, their incomes were reduced quite significantly. So uh, this was, uh, these two schemes were rather more broad based to give people the help that they needed uh, quite quickly. For example, the support grant actually was already extended once applications were supposed to close in September, but they got extended until December. So I think this decision to launch a new scheme rather than extend it is a recognition of the fact that circumstances on the ground have changed. Probably people who lost their jobs have uh, become employed, hopefully since then. Uh, people who you know, have had a reduction in income, hopefully they've managed to, to get it back up again. But at the same time, there's a group of people whose earnings haven't recovered and this is this very specific group is who the new scheme is meant to help. I see. Then, uh, Lynette, do you believe that this is the last of such schemes with phase three scheduled to start in less than two weeks? Well, I would hope so since uh, the applications for this new recovery grant are open until the end of next year. Mm. Hopefully by then, you know, the economy will be back on track and we won't need any more further support. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if along the way we find out that certain groups uh, still need even more help and perhaps smaller, very targeted schemes might be launched to help them, not necessarily grants, but other types of support. Well, thank you so much uh, for coming on the show, Lynette. That was political correspondent for The Straits Times, Lynette Lai. If you're watching us on YouTube, there's a link below to Lynette's piece on the COVID-19 recovery grant. Meanwhile, drivers of taxis and private hire cars will get higher payouts from next year under another new relief scheme. The COVID-19 Driver Relief Fund will see eligible drivers get $600 per vehicle every month between January and March 2021. This will then be reduced to $450 a month between April and June. The Land Transport Authority said that the new fund will cost $133 million. Now, it replaces the special relief fund through which point-to-point -point drivers have been receiving payouts since February.